after five awesome days in Santorini, we're saying goodbye, but going to the next Greek island. But first, I just, we didn't even do a room tour and apologies, apologies, but this is an amazing place. We have two lanai's. Lanai one. Lanai two. Goodbye pool we never used. But as beautiful as Santorini is and how much fun we had, it is wildly busy today and I'm kind of glad we are heading out. Traffic jams! Right now all I can think about is just how much I'm going to miss hanging out with Tina Shavai. They're just the coolest and it was really nice to be able to talk with people about YouTube but also just to be able to make new friends in real life. Travel like this on long term can be kind of isolating or actually really, really isolating. You can feel lonely at times even though we're together all the time we feel like we're missing out so much at home so it's just really nice to be able to connect with other people doing the same thing that we are which is making videos full-time while also traveling full-time there's just not a lot of people who know what that's like and can really understand sort of the difficulties and the good parts of it and be able to share that We've got our obligatory baked goods and snacks because we're headed to the bus stop to catch a ferry to Noxos way to say goodbye to our friends <laughs> <laughs> but who knows? Maybe we'll see them in our travels. Maybe in the next month or so. Maybe in a year. The bus is only two euros and it runs kind of just whenever the ferries are leaving. So you have to check actually at the Fira bus stop to figure out exactly when it leaves. Uh, it's a cheap way to get over there and I think it's a lot better than doing a taxi. by Santorini. After a 15-20 minute bus ride down a really, really steep cliff, I mean, the views are beautiful and dramatic. We're here and uh, waiting at the ferry terminal. Whoa. We're about to get on a ferry. And it may be the biggest ferry that we've ever been on. I can't believe they have big rigs coming off of this thing. And not just one or two, like six or seven. What? Such a cool ferry. I've never been on anything like this before. The use of a mask is mandatory for the duration of the trip. This is the first ferry that I feel like I've ever been on where it's just set up for you to just lounge and honestly enjoy your experience here. Bye Santorini, we'll miss you. So we're in the Blue Star Delos and these ships are honestly more like cruise ships than they are like ferries. I say that because there's just so many beautiful areas of this ship, it's so well put together. There's cafes, there's even a burger joint down there. There's also these really nice cabins with individual rooms where you can actually sleep while you're on the ferry. And they have these air seats which are basically like really big airplane seats and they're really comfortable and they also play movies while you're on the boat. But in reality, I think that the economy lounge and the economy areas, like the one we're in right now, are the best on the whole ship. They even have showers. And amazing lounge areas and Wi-Fi and just everything else you could possibly need. And as far as cost goes, for this particular ferry in off-season, it was 22 euros to get from Santorini to Noxos. We're only on here for two hours, so time to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the view.
cold. Cold, windy. <laughs> Have a nice time, Thank I hope you like it and have fun. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. This place is amazing. Nico, so cool, he's so nice. We've got a whole tour of nachos basically in the car ride here and we're here. And we have so many good local tips and also his mom made us jam and wine. Nachos enjoy! Knock knock! <laughs> no? Okay, come on in! We haven't done a room tour in a while, but this place is pretty cool. We have a really cute studio here with a nice giant queen size bed. Everything's beautifully decorated. Some of the coolest parts is how they've been able to fit so much in such a compact studio. For example, fridge, da -da -da -da, with two water bottles in them, which is really important because if you haven't been to Santorini or Noxos before, uh, it turns out the water, even though it's desalinated, is very, very salty. I like savory things, but not water. Homemade jam and wine. We have a lanai, of course. I know bathrooms are weird on room tours, but this one's really cool. It's all made out of stone. It's like stone. Even the sink is made out of stone. So we're here for five nights and it cost about $188, which works out to be like 30 to $40 a night, which is really great. Turns out coming just at the tail end of the high season, between high season and low season, best time, except it's very windy. Okay, we're gonna go eat now. Another day, another hero. This restaurant has different kinds of heroes. This one has beef in it and feta cheese, but more french fries because dirsch. So far I'd say we're very, very impressed with Noxos. This seems like one of the cooler places I've ever been. There's a lot of great windy streets. The food's all really very affordable. Oh, it's just got this vibe to it that feels a little more real. You can kind of feel like the whole town is in an almost celebratory mood because it's very much the end of their season. So for most of these people, they are done with work for the next six months in about two weeks from now. So I think they can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel of what has assuredly been an absolutely insane high season. I'm excited to explore. So far my favorite thing about this place though is seeing people in parkas. <laughs> it's a little windy but <laughs> when in doubt, listen to Lisa, right Josh? Sometimes, <laughs> but not often. This time. Are we recording? <laughs> he's, gotta, he's gotta let me know. Uh, doggo. Knock knock. <laughs> knock knock. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say. <laughs> <laughs>